Hey guys, what's going on today? Ryan with the applications team here and today's video is coming at you. It's all about concentricity and concentricity specifically with your valve seats and in a relation to the valve guide. Now, what is concentricity? Well, concentricity, uh, the engineering or technical definition is the how close the center line positions of two circles is. Um, when we take our cylinder heads, you've got your valve guide and your seat. Now your valve is going to be with the stem in the guide and the seat should be sealing against the seat of course. And that's why we care about where the position of these two circles are, the center line of the guide to the center line of the seat. Uh, how do we control that though? Well, we want to either cut, lap, whatever we want to do uh, to make sure that our valve seat is, is going to seal against the valve face. And behind me here is our SG9 MTS machine. And I want to show you what I believe is the best way to improve that quickly on the machine. Um, in our seat cutting machines like the SG9 MTS, we're using our Unipilot system and really any seat and guide machine, right? It's going to use the guide as its reference point or datum. That's the, the zero position or where we're kind of basing all of our cutting off of. So when we look at a cylinder head, if the, if the valve guide is going to become the datum for the machine for the cutting operation, then we are assuming that our valve guide geometry is good and we're going to cut the seat so that it's hopefully concentric to that valve guide. So the best thing that you can do to improve concentricity and improve sealing and longevity out of your cylinder heads in, in aspects of the valve train is to make sure and take the time uh, getting that guide geometry correct. Now, the way that we can do that on our SG9 MTS machine is we can ream and with our manual Mautic software this becomes a very easy and fast operation something that we can do if we have the tooling uh, next to our machine we can do it in a minute and taking that extra step to ensure that when we go to cut we've got good guide geometry is going to make our results that much better uh, the classic was always uh, thousands of of run out when we measure a valve seat right we might use a, a concentricity gauge like this that we place on top of the pilot and the the old rule of thumb was always one thousandths of run out per inch of seat diameter now modern engines and performance applications we like to get that much better uh, typically i always want to see no matter the size of the seat at least one thousandths or less preferably much less on on my total indicated run out when checking with the gauge on the machine. So what I've got here in front of me is our, our Call It Kit R1. This is a, a, a kit that you can be purchased as optional with, uh, with any of Rottler's seat and guide machines. And it's a, an ER32 Call It chuck that chucks into the machine and we can place a reamer in that. The kit comes with a variety of these ER32 Call It's. And we can set a, a a reamer into those collets and then ream on the machine. Now, when we're using uh, uh, reamers on a seat and guide machine such as this, we want to use what's called a piloted uh, reamer. So that means that the, the final diameter that we're reaming the guide to uh, is going to be in the top portion of the reamer and the, the first inch or so of this reamer is relieved. This one that I've got here today was purchased off of Goodson. Uh, and they work just fine for what we're doing. So we're going to go ahead and hop in here on the machine. I'll show you guys exactly how easy this is to do, how easy it is to set up on the machine, and just how fast we can take care of our guides uh, on, our, on our SG9 MTS machine. So we're over here at the machine now. Now I've got my small block Chevy head loaded up here. I've already aligned this using the angle sensor and I have my reamer in my tool holder loaded up in the machine spindle. Now the way that this is going to operate is we're going to write a quick program where uh, the machine will automatically float and lock the workhead as well as turn the spindle uh, on and off and all I'll have to do as the operator is move around uh, keeping my hands on this steering wheel here. What I need to do is the first step is I need to come over 
and find my first guide and zero out my vertical DRO. This machine has our, our linear scale behind it attached to the spindle and that's gonna reference position based on how far I've turned this thing from wherever I set my vertical zero. So to do that, I can float my work head. We'll come over to the first hole. I wanna make sure that my spindle is locked. We want a rigid pilot for this operation. So I'll press lock. And then I'm gonna come down. Now I wanna get the piloted section of my reamer here started into this, this guide. And I'll do that and I'll feel the, the point at which the cutting section, the actual size I'm reaming to is there. I wanna just be at that point, a little bit above. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lock the work head and right here where it says vertical zero on my DRO, I will zero that out. Now, on the right side here, I'm in my setup mode for this reaming program, and I need to type in uh, finish depth, a start height, retract height, and clamp height, and I can work my way back up. Now, the easiest thing for my finish depth is I wanna make sure that I get the reamer to go all the way through the guide. So I can take a set of calipers and use either a, a stop or just your finger, and we'll just take a quick measurement. My guide is about 2.2 .2 inches. 2.165, so we'll type in negative 2.2 for my finish depth. That'll make sure I get the reamer to go all the way through. My centering height, I just wanna be above my zero here. So I can use my hand wheel here. I'm about an eighth inch above. I can press set. That's where it's gonna turn the spindle on. And then my retract height is where it's going to float the work head on the way back up. So I just wanna make sure that the tip of my reamer is above my guide press set, and then my clamp height, this is where the machine will automatically kind of clamp to use itself as a park position. And anywhere between the retract and clamp height, the work head will be floating. So what I like to do is I come all the way up and just come off my hard top stop and press set. So I've programmed all this, right? And now I'm ready to just go ahead and ream these guides. Now, I recommend using a little bit of WD-40. You can spray it on the tool and down in each of these guides just to give a little lubrication. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this at 300 RPM and I have my finish RPM set at 100. The finish RPM is when it gets to this finish depth, it will turn down to 100 RPM. And that'll just let me retract out slower to make sure I don't have any chance of messing up or ruining my finish. So I turn my software on here. The machine's gonna be floating. And now I'm gonna come down and I'll just get the, the pilot down here in the guide. You saw this lights flashed and now it's gonna lock the work head and turn that spindle on and I'm ready to go. And I can watch. And when I get to my finish depth here, my lights will flash again. It's now slowed down, I'm ready to retract back out. I get up to my retract height, the machine's floating, and I move over to the next guide. So as this is running, when I'm getting a lot of uh, guide material built up on my reamer, I'm just gonna spray it down with my WD-40 again. Just to make sure we've got clean cutting edges.
Once we're complete, we can roll this out of the way and place this in my park position. That's it, folks. Fast and easy, super efficient way to go ahead and clean up those guides. This head and these seats now would be ready to take an optimal fitting pilot. I can go and cut these seats and ensure that I'm going to get the best concentricity for my valve seats as possible. We'll catch you next time. Check out the Call It Kit R1 and visit us at rottlermfg.com for more information. We'll see you next time.